When you're talking about uh, probability experiments, you're very interested in binomial experiments. So a binomial experiment is actually a probability experiment. It has the following characteristics. First of all, the number of tries are fixed. Each trial is independent from another trial. Two, there are only two possible outcomes, the failure or the success. The probability of success is the same in each trial. So now I expect you to ask, what's the role of X? Great. Variable. Well, the discrete variable X actually counts the number of successes in this experiment. X counts the number of successes. So if you think about it, when you have this probability experiment, you might have no success. So x might be equal to zero, no success at all, or just one success, or it might be two successes. X can take two successes, or x can be three successes. It actually counts the number of successes, or four, or five, or all of them are successful. So X takes on values from zero to all of the possibilities for X. That's why when we have a discrete random variable and that experiment satisfies these conditions, we call it a binomial experiment. The probability of success in one trial is denoted by P. And the probability of failure in one trial is one minus P, which we denoted by Q. So we have P, we have Q, we have N, and we have X. X counts all the numbers from zero to N. Now I expect you to ask, well, how do you calculate the probability? Is it just dividing X by N? So we have a formula to calculate the probability when we have a binomial experiment. This formula is represented by N factorial divided by X factorial times N minus X factorial P raised to N and Q raised to N minus X. P to the X and Q to N minus X. In statistics, instead of using this formula, we use our calculator. So in homework, in quiz, in exam, you need to use your calculator. The calculator has this function built into it, calculator to calculate the binomial 
fibers. So we have different cases, different situation when it comes to calculating the binomial probability. Let's list all of them here. So for a binomial probability, you have the following cases. If the question says, find the probability of exactly one value, if the question asks, to find the probability x equals to a value, just the one value, we're going to use our calculator and we use binomial PDF. So let me write here, binomial PDF. asks to find the probability of x to be less than, less than equal to, greater than, greater than equal to, we're going to use binomial CDF. If the question asks to find P of x less than a. P of X less than equals to A. Or if you have this case, probability of X greater than A or probability of X greater than equals to A, we're going to use binomial CDF. So there is only one case that you're using binomial PDF if the question says find the probability of exactly one value. If the question says find the probability that X is less than A, it is equivalent to finding the binomial CDF less than equals to a, a is just a constant in number. Again, binomial CDF, x greater than a, binomial CDF, and greater than equals to a, again, binomial CDF. So to use your calculator, you need to go to second, bars, and find if it says exactly equal to binomial PDF, otherwise you find binomial CDF. Well, now I expect you to ask, what is the difference between less than, less than equal to, greater than, and greater than equal to? How do you use the calculator? Less than or equal to A is actually equivalent to binomial CDF of A. This is exactly the same as binomial CDF of A. So I'm going to change the color. You see why we have to do some algebra here. The probability that X is less than equals to A is the same as using the calculator, second Morse binomial CDF of that exact number a. When it comes to P of X less than A, this is equivalent saying that you are finding the probability that X is less than or equal to A minus 1. Well, in this case, when you're using binomial CDF, 
we have to do a little bit of algebra by subtracting one binomial CDF of A minus. You have the probability that x is greater than a. When x is greater than a, it means that you are subtracting the probability of x being less than equals to a from a hundred percent or one. So you have one minus the probability that x is less than or equals to a. It means that it we want to use a calculator, we have to write one minus binomial binomial CDF. Remember that less than equals to is the exact same as binomial CDF of A. And then finally, if it says the probability that X is greater than or equals to A, this is equivalent saying that this is one minus the probability that X is less than A. Less than A, this is equivalent to one minus binomial CDF of A minus one. Less than A, A minus one. So when you're solving the homework, the quiz, you need to follow these instructions using your calculator for binomial probability. Let us take a look at one example together. This example says, well, we have a survey of US adults. In this survey, we found that 62% of women, well, 62%, believe that there is a link between playing violent video games and teens exhibiting violent behavior. So 62% of them agree about that. The probability of success is 62%. You randomly select four U.S. women, so our N is equal to four, and ask them whether they believe that there's a link between playing video games, violent video games, and teens exhibiting violent behavior. Find the probability that exactly two of them respond yes. Exactly two. Let's take a look at the board. exactly two, it means that we are working with this is the probability that X is exactly two. So we're going to use binomial PDF. Exactly two, it means that X is equal to two. Our N is equal to four and P, the probability of success is 62%. Let us take a look at our calculator. So we go to second. bars now we need to find binomial pdf binomial pdf so it's not inverse it's not t it's not chi squared we're looking for binomial pdf Okay, after finding binomial PDF, we need to enter these values. The number of trials, which is four, 
P, the probability of success, 62%, and X values, which is equal to T. Enter. This probability is almost 33%. So the probability that X is exactly two is roughly 33%. Now let us move on to part two. Part two says at least two of them. At least means greater than or equal to two. Two of them or three of them or all four. So X can be two or three or four. The probability that X is greater than or equal to two. Which case is this? Let's take a look at our board. The probability that x is greater than equals to a, which is one minus binomial CDF a minus one. One minus binomial. C, E, F, A minus one, what is our A? A is equal to two, two minus one, or just one. So again, we go to second bars to calculate this. But before doing that, take a look at your one. So you have one minus second bars. One, One minus second bars. Let us find binomial CDF. The number of trials is four. P is 62% and X is equal to one. This is almost 84%. And finally, three fewer than, less than two. So less than, fewer than, fewer than two is the probability of X being absolutely less than two. Take a look at the board. The probability that X is less than A is the binomial CDF of A minus one. So we need binomial CDF A minus one, your A is two, two minus one, which is one. We go to second. Bars, we find binomial CDF. We're not looking for PDF. We're looking for binomial CDF. The number of times is four. The probability we already entered that 62% and X value is equal to one. Paste, and we have almost 16%. Point 16. 